you know, it was good probably to finish the the three games off tonight with I, th- I thought it was a a good home performance against a very good side who could potentially go on and, and, and do great things in the future. Can I just ask you, you've, you've played with some good goalkeepers over the years. How impressed have you been with, with Gavin Bazzini as a 19-year-old kid putting in a performance like that? Yeah, uh, I've been impressed with Gav since he's come in. Um, and I, th- I think he's grew into the jersey as well. Each game he keeps getting better and, and more confident. Uh, not only the saves he makes, I think his, his distribution with, with the ball at his feet is, is very good. And, you know, we've been lucky um, over the years. We've had great goalkeepers. And, you know, there's, there's more great goalkeepers in the squad. You know, obviously Darren, who isn't here, um, Quivine as well. Uh, Mark Travers as well so um, you know we're lucky Thank you Paul Lennon please Hello, hello Jeff um, you must be very happy with your performance personally tonight um, the last week has gone well for you Yeah oh, that didn't, I thought that was Mark coming there uh, Yeah uh, of course you know the you know two big games I was involved in um and I enjoy them type of games. I think they're the best ones to play in. Uh, and I, I thought I'd done myself well, uh, done myself proud. And you know, for me, it's uh, you know playing as many games as possible and, and helping the country out. And it was great to to be here with fans. And unfortunately, I wasn't on the pitch for the last ten minutes. But you know, even to to be sat there and and, and the lads giving it their all, trying to get a goal. Hearing the the crowd roar is is special and, and and it's great to have them back. Just one final one for me. It's going to be very very hard, nearly impossible to qualify now in second place. How did the players approach the last three games in this group? Yeah, it, 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 it's going to be tough now, um, of course. But um, I, I think we approached it positively. Um, you look at Portugal. You know, we had a game plan and and I think it worked very well. Um, like I said, we are minutes away from, from getting a, a very good result. Um, and maybe, you know, that result uh, damaged us a little bit and, and our hopes and, and our confidence. Uh, but uh, we picked ourselves back up tonight and put in a performance. But um, like you said, it, it is a bit late and, and, and hard to get something out of this group. But, you know, we're an Irish team. We've got to keep, keep going and, and giving it our all. Neil Arden, please. Uh, Steve said yesterday about um, building for the next campaign. Is that that's just something you can buy into as a senior player, or, or you know, is that a difficult thing to get it around? What was that? Sorry. Sorry, Stephen spoke yesterday about you know that you're building for the next campaign. Is that easy to buy into it as a senior player? Can you see the logic in that? Uh, it is tough, obviously. Uh, you know. I'm not getting any younger, but um, I I still feel like I've I have some good years left in me as well. Like I am only 29. We've seen people play uh, into the thirties, mid thirties, uh, in the past, so I, I don't see why I I can't do that. So I suppose I uh, hopefully I can be in around it for a good few years to come. And do you think Ireland will reap the benefits from blooding the player, players like Gavin, Andrew, and Adam in this campaign from the Euros? I hope so, yeah. Um, you know, there's a lot of youth in the squad now, and I remember, you know, being one of them young lads, and uh, it's exciting. And um, the more games they get, will only benefit us. Thank you. And if it's Morris. Hey, Jeff. Um, Stephen just said there that you know, what just positive display. We need to turn the, the draws into wins. Um, does that mean obviously Portugal swept the goal, but does that mean going to Azerbaijan and, and winning? Yeah, of course. Um, you know, we want to win every game. I know it's it's tough, and if if you're being realistic, some of the games, you know, are got are are going to be very very hard to win. But we nearly done it against Portugal. I think tonight, um, we put in a good performance, and that's something to build on. And we should be looking to go to Azerbaijan now and playing like that, and and getting a win. Uh, I think. It's it's definitely doable and it's something we should be achieving. Do you feel the team have made a bit of a statement there with the, with the result? 
yeah, I, I think we had to make a statement, uh, if I'm being honest. So uh, it was good to, you know, get the draw uh, late in. Uh, over the last few years, I think we've been scoring a lot of late goals, but that's that's the character of, uh, you know, the Ireland squads, I suppose. But I think we definitely needed to, to make a statement tonight. And uh, we've done that, but I think we need to bring that on to, on to next month. And Paula Hurd to wrap it up. Jeff, how are you doing? Um, over the years, we've probably heard a few Ireland managers saying that, you know, we don't have the players, and that's been an excuse that was wheeled out in the past. The current manager doesn't say that. He, he really backs the players that he has. Do you, as a group, do you sense that? Do you want to play for him because of that? Yeah, of course. Um, you know, we're not gifted with, you know, hundreds of players who are playing in all the top leagues. Uh, we are what we are. We, have, we know the squad we have. Uh, players come in and out of it, but everyone comes in with a positive attitude and, and buys into the group and, and, and we all fight for each other. And would you like to see the manager's future sorted out one way or the other? Yeah. Sooner the, rather than later. Yeah, the, you know, that, that's nothing to do with me and uh, I don't even know what the situation is with that. Um, us as players, we come in and we play for the manager and, you know, from day one, we're getting instructions and, and we're building for the games. We have a lot of games in, in a short period of time. So, uh, you know, that's nothing I should be concentrating on. It's just the games I have to concentrate on.